Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So, I have a really fun video for you guys today. I have been with ColourPop since day one. So I have been a fan of Colourpop. Shh. Sushi. Come say hello then. Say hello to the camera. Say hello. I know. Say I'm an attention dog. Who cannot be left alone. Alright, are we happy now? Did we get enough love? Is that what we wanted with love? Yeah. Alright. Are we good? Are we good now? I can't hold you for the whole video. So I have been a fan of ColourPop since day one. Uh, since the very first eyeshadow launch and since then the lippies, the liquid lipsticks, the gel liners, the blushes, the highlights, the new pressed eyeshadows. Clearly there is no love lost between me and ColourPop. It is one of my all-time favorite brands on the market, bar none. So I have a whole bunch of products to talk to you guys about today. Some of these are newer, some of these aren't so new, but these are just things that I've been playing with, things that I really enjoy, that I hadn't really given a lot of attention on my channel yet. So I just kinda wanna go through the things that I'm loving right now from them, and some of this is, like I said, pretty new, but we're just gonna get into all of it. So let's talk about the sprays, because this is a, definitely a newer product from ColourPop. These are their setting sprays. Well, one is a setting spray, one is a priming spray. I don't know if, any, if everyone has realized that the, the sprays that have come out in the line, I think there are three or four of them, are not all the same. They do different things. So it's important to understand that. So this one is the Rose Quartz Priming Spray, and this one is... Contains real rose quartz, apple extract for intense hydration, grapefruit extract, and an olive oil derivative for a dewy finish. So you shake it gently, and you're going to use it. You hold it an arm's length away, and you spray it. The bottle's gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful. But I really actually am enjoying this as a priming spray. I've been using it a lot the last couple weeks. You can see that it doesn't wear down very quickly. There's still a lot of products. I've probably used this ten times. There's still a lot of product in it. Um, I'm really, really, really liking this, and I just love the bottles. I think their packaging is always so classy. So yeah, one thing I'm adoring. Now this one is the setting spray. So this one is the Aquamarine Crystal Setting Spray, and this one contains real aquamarine crystal, coconut water, apple extract for intense hydration, olive oil derivative for a dewy finish, and Carolina Officials Extract. Officinals extract natural red algae for an extra moisture boost. I really love this one as well. It smells amazing. Mm, actually, I'm gonna set my face right now. So same thing. You hold it an arm's length away and close your eyes. I also find that these the mist is pretty like the mist on this is pretty big, so it covers a big surface area. So make sure that when you spray it, you are an arm's length away and you kind of just give your whole face a spray down because. It can be a lot in one area. I'll link the information down in the description box or I'll just link a link to them and you can go check them out. But make sure that you're reading those sprays very carefully so that you're getting the right one for your skin type. So now let's talk about face products. This is a newer launch for ColourPop, blushes and highlights. I really, really, really am glad they came out with them. I do think that it's kind of funny that right now ColourPop has kind of not decided how things are being shipped, which is a little interesting for me. Um, I received one of my highlights in a box like this that had a sticker on the back that says press powder, highlight, or bronzer and has the net weight but doesn't say what it is. So I just put a little sticky so I would know what it is. But the box says that it's still to play. But it came in this box which was like already in the compact. The compact is gorgeous. It says ColourPop but it's silver stars. It's super white but it's hard plastic so you can clean it. You open it up and you get a full size mirror, which I'm a huge fan of, and then your product. Now the other way these come, this is the other highlight that I got, this is here Kid Kitty. They come like this, in a flat package with the product on the inside. Nowhere on here does it say the name of the product, nowhere. So just be really cautious of that. And then you, they sent an empty compact. They send an empty compact like this, and then this has Here Kitty Kitty written on the back of it. 
in a sticker, which isn't super helpful, ColourPop, I'm not gonna lie. I was not impressed with that on the back, and it's really hard to pull off. The edges do lift, but the middle is pretty stuck down. I tried quite a bit to try and lift it off and couldn't get it off. So again, I just put a little sticky note so I would know what color that was. So that's my only downfall to this packaging is I don't love the fact that they haven't done either printed stickers or printed right to the packaging what they are. I feel like it's harder for me to want to use these because of that, because they all look the same in my container and I have to flip them over to find it. I don't love that. Um, but I will tell you guys, the magnet in these is unreal. Like, they magnetize together and they hold. And that's just the magnet for the clasp. So if you have products that are constantly opening in your purse, just know these won't do that. So these are the two highlights I got. I got Here Kitty Kitty and Si Vous Play. This is Si Vous Play. It's a gorgeous white highlight. It's beautiful and shimmery and it really does stand out on the cheeks. Can you guys just see that in the light? It's gorgeous. It gives you a beautiful shine. These are super silky to work with. They are super blendable. I love them. Their highlight formula. I've loved all their press formulas. I like this probably more. For eyeshadows, I like the Super Shock pigments, like the ones that come in the cream, like cream powder formulation, as much as I like the press pigments. But for highlights, I actually think I like these better than I liked the original cream highlights. Like they're, you know, their own signature one. This is here Kitty Kitty. It's definitely more peach natural, like that champagne, but it's also beautiful. So that's here Kitty Kitty and that's S'il vous plaît, which means if you please in French for those of you who don't know. Now we're gonna move on to the blushes. All the blushes came in the same type of packaging, the flat cardboard style. It says blush on it, blush colored, but it doesn't have the product name on it, which is super frustrating. And I'm assuming it's how ColourPop saves money, and I get it, because ColourPop likes to keep their products super, super, super affordable. So this is a lot cheaper to buy and just constantly be slotting different ones in there. You can buy these in bulk, as opposed to each one having its own name on it when then you can only use it for that blush. So I understand why they did that, but I just, it's really frustrating. I also don't love the fact that they used the same compact because it makes it very difficult for me to tell the difference between my highlights and my blushes. And again, the names for all of these blushes are only on the sticker on the back. So I had to put little sticky notes on the backs of mine to be able to tell them apart, which these are just packaging drawbacks. They're not product drawbacks. And for some people, these aren't even going to affect you at all. But for me, these are the things, the little details that I like to point out for those of us who are collectors who really want to be picky about what we're buying. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I want to show you guys these two blushes first. This is Why Hello and this is to the 10. You can see these are very, very similar. This is just a lighter shade than that one. So I got, so this is Why Hello. I really love the formulation of these blushes. They're super smooth, they're not powdery. I love that about them and they're buildable. So this is Why Hello and you can see, I'm gonna put a second swatch on there just to kind of sort of build it for you. So you can see how, see how buildable it is. So I really love this one. This is a great everyday wearable blush for almost all skin types in my opinion. This one is called To The 10. And this is another really nice wearable. It's gonna be a little bit deeper than Why Hello. A little bit more coral. Do you see that? Really pretty. Again, I'm, gonna, I'm watching these right over my blue shirt, you guys, because I know that they don't have fallout and they are beautiful. So yeah, that's to the 10 and I love that one. And then of course, you know me, I had to go a little bit deeper with my last choice. This is Rom-Com and this is a beautiful, bright, fun coral. I love this, but again, super buildable. Do you see it on the bottom there? That's one swatch, but if I build it up with two, you're gonna get much more coral pigment in that. I love this color. Now the next thing I wanna talk about a little is the concealers. Now, I wasn't super sold on these concealers and I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about them, but they come in a package box that looks like this and it says, no filter concealer. Little white beige box, really cute. These do have stickers with the color number put on top, so Fair Neutral 10. So I received three shades, Fair, uh, Fair 5, 
fair neutral 10 and light 15. Now from here I'm not sure that you guys are going to really be able to tell a difference but this is definitely the most yellow and the lightest. This one becomes more um, beige so kind of a neutral tone and this one has more pink to it the um, light neutral. Not super pink but definitely more pink. It's definitely you can tell that this has yellow and these two are more neutral but they all are different so I'm going to swatch them. Now, I wasn't super impressed with this concealer as I've been using it. Uh, I do love the wand on it. I feel like it gives you really good coverage. You get a lot of product. But I did find these to crease a little, and I wasn't entirely in love with the shade selection. Like, I wish they had done, taken this color and made it in a pink and a yellow and a neutral. Um, and I know that that's really hard to do because companies can't just have a million colors in each line. But you're going to see when I show you guys the swatches. This is the fairest color, and then the middle is the pink. And you can see how much darker it is. It, it just, it pulls so pink. And I think for a lot of people, that's going to be really hard. So I've been using the fair color the most, and I am going to throw some on because my concealer situation today is no joke. Baggy eyes, for sure. Like I said, I love the mirror in these, love them. So I have been using this by putting it onto a brush. This is my Sigma P82, because I find that when I put it on with the wand, I get way too much. So if I wanna do touch-ups like I'm doing right now, I put it onto my wand first, and then I brush it on. Or I put it on my brush first, and then I brush it on. Now you're gonna notice right away that it is super brightening. I don't wanna get too close to my under eye because I am super brightening, right? I do have smoke under my eye, so I don't wanna get too close in there. Super brightening, which I love. I love that it's brightening. I think it looks amazing. I do find the crease, so if you're gonna be using this concealer, I would definitely make sure that you use a really good powder with it and that you powder after applying, because like I said, I do find that the crease on me. I feel like my under eye area looks so much brighter right now. So I also wanted to show you guys, one of the things I love about ColourPop is that they send cards. And I know this is just a little thing and for some people it's not even gonna matter, but for me it is so cute. So mine says, hey love, let's spice things up. XOXO ColourPop. And what they used to do is, all these used to be handwritten. Now they um, handwrite one and then photocopy a certain amount, but you almost always get a different one unless you place orders back to back, which is super, super, super cool. And I love them. So this one's got like a little pumpkin spice latte on them. I just like that they still do personal things like that. Yes, they're doing it at a bigger scale. Yes, it's not handwritten anymore. But I think they're like, when you think about their order quality at this point, they probably can't be handwriting them all day. So better customer service, less handwritten cards. I'm okay with that. So last but not least, we're gonna talk about eyeshadow palettes. There's no question that I love the new pressed powdered formulation from ColourPop. Uh, they were gracious to send me quite a bit of the collection and they continue to send me them as they launch. And I have so many, and I am so in love with it. I think that they're beautiful and blendable. The metallics are smooth. The mattes are gorgeous and blend beautifully. I'm obsessed with this formulation. And I also love that when they're launching palettes, they're not duplicating colors. That, for me, is super important because when you own a lot of makeup, that's what happens. Is like often MAC will launch a palette, and I have a lot of MAC palettes, and they will have like 12 regular colors and four new colors. And that's super annoying for people who have a lot of MAC makeup because what happens is I definitely have those 12 colors. 100% I have them. But I really want the four new ones. But I can only get the four new ones by ordering that package. So I like that they're not duplicating. So let's start from the the newest palette to the most popular palette, I think is the order I'm gonna go. So the newest palette is the My Little Pony palette, and this is super cute. It's really fun. This is a palette that I thought would be for color lovers, and I was right. They launched this for color lovers. If you are not a color lover, if you are somebody who never wears color on your eyes, this is not a necessary palette for you. The colors are beautiful, they're super, um, there's a great shade variety. You can create you can't create normal looks with just this palette. You need to mix this palette with other things to create a normal look. But this palette on its own is gorgeous and stunning. I'm just gonna swatch a few of the shades for you. So this is Starshine. It's a gorgeous, bright coral. And these are just the same formulation as their other eyeshadows. That's Starshine. 
Uh, I'm going to swap this one down here, which is Twilight. This is one of my favorite colors in the entire palette. I also like that their, color, their palettes don't get dirty, so I'm not constantly having to wipe it. I also love this silver color. This is Snuzzle, and I love this. This is a gorgeous metallic silver. It's beautiful. And lastly, I'm going to swatch a matte. This one right here is called Flutterby. And these mattes are the same quality as the mattes in their other eyeshadows. They're super creamy and blendable. That's just a touch, a taste of what's in this palette. If you want me to do full swatch, um, either videos on these, or if you want me to do full swatches on my blog, which I don't normally use, but I would totally do swatches on there if you guys want to see them, let me know and I will get those done for you. I love the packaging of this palette. I love that they have all the ponies in the front. I love that they've named all the eyeshadows. All the names are on the back. Those little touches, for me, make or break a palette. Next, we're going to talk about a palette that's only starting to gain some traction right now, which I think is so silly because it's probably been one of my favorite palettes for a while. This is I Think I Love You. First off, the packaging on this palette is gorgeous. It's this beautiful fade from like a deep bronze to a light bronze. Um, it's gorgeous. All of the colors have names on the back as usual. That's the box for the palette. This is the palette itself. It's polka dots with that same bronze color. Palette names on the back. The only thing about this palette is there's only four mattes. Four mattes in the whole palette. And this one's kind of more of a satin, not a matte. So there's only really three true mattes in the whole palette. But the way this palette is built is beautiful. This is your gorgeous, warm, coppery eye. If you have blue eyes and you don't own this palette, you don't know what you're missing. Go pick it up like right now. This color all over your lid, all day, every day. Uh, that's the one that I do find a little bit kind of flaky. It flakes up a bit. The other ones are all really smooth. That copper color flakes a bit more. I want to show you guys the black because everyone always wants to see the matte black and this matte black is no joke. It's like, hi, I'm here to stay. Um, this is a really softer coppery color, but this is it's all warm tones I really want to show you guys this yellow too because this is probably the most unique shade in this palette Is this dirty gold that I've got up on the top there? So yes, I think I love you is beautiful and stunning and metallic. It's really gonna create a lot of gorgeous eyes I have a class running. I'm running a glam eyes class where I'm gonna do a bronze smoky a black smoky and a red lip we're coming into holidays and those are the questions I often get asked like how do I do a good bronze eye? How do I do a good, you know, um, smoky eye? So I'm really excited to be running that class in November and I'm definitely going to be using that palette because A, it's affordable, B, the colors are gorgeous, and C, they work really well. And what I love about ColourPop colors is while they work really well, when I want them to come off, they come off. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to freak out and think my hand's going to be stained all day, which is good because I've got to go volunteer in my son's classroom in a minute. But when I want them to come off, they just come off. But they don't do that on the eyes, which is really, really nice. Okay, last palette, and probably the palette that's currently the hardest to get. Um, this has been sold out every single time they restock it. It sells out again. This is Yes Please. And I love this packaging. I love the bright yellow with the red. I love that they all have names. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys, sorry, I should tell you guys the color names that I, the ones that I used. So this one is called Howdy, and this is the, Howdy is the one that's a little bit more chunky. The one up here that I um, swatched is called Bel Air. And then the black one is called Rule Breaker. The dirty gold is called Let's Do It. And what else? This one over here in the corner is called My Type. So those are the color names. So yeah, this palette, every time they restock it, it sells out again. They cannot keep this on the shelves. They have tried. This is just going every time they bring it in. And it's because it is that typical warm toned eyeshadow palette. This is what everybody was loving this summer. This is what everybody was gravitating towards. I have always worn more warm tone colors on my eyes because I have blue eyes, but I think what everyone learned in 2017 was that warm eyeshadows look good on everybody. So let's backtrack a minute and look at the packaging. First off, cute AF. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it's cute as. And then it says ColourPop. It's this gray with the yellow. I think it's super gorgeous. The back has the yes please and all the color names. The only thing I'm not a fan of with these is that I wish that the insert, this insert was plastic. 
because it would be easier to clean. But ColourPop's eyeshadows don't have a ton of fallout, so I'm not super worried about it. When you look at the inside of this palette, don't you just die? Like, I just die. I love it. I love it. So, um, this has a good combination of mattes and shimmers. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is actually eight matte eyeshadows. So this is more matte than anything else, which is also why I think people are gravitating towards it. I love that there's a good um, like shade gradient up with your brow bone colors and your lighter colors. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch some of these for you so you guys can get a really good feel for them. Ooh, that one's got a lot of fallout. That's not normal. What's that one called? Big Cocktails is definitely more powdery than other ColourPop eyeshadows that I've used. And what I like about these is that there's that build up again. That orange, a lot of people I think thought was gonna be super orange, but you gotta build it to get the orange color from it. Let's go down here and swatch this gorgeous, gorgeous shimmery shade that I'm super excited about. I'm just in love with this palette. I think that you're gonna create a lot of beautiful looks with this. Again, blue eyed girls, this is your friend. If you can learn to use a palette like this, your eyes will forever pop out of your head. I'm gonna swatch some of these deeper colors that are down here. There we go. So this is Full Zip. Oh, wow, it's a gorgeous burgundy. Look at that, that's called Full Zip. And then the other two are called Louis <coughs> is the more orange and Butter Cake is the more red. Oh my God. I just, I love this palette. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. If I had to pick only one ColourPop palette to own, that would probably be it. I don't know that I could ever pick just one, to be completely honest. I think I would cry giving up all the others. But if somebody forced me, like there was a gun in my head and I had to pick one palette and I only got to keep one palette, yeah, that would probably be it. So there you guys have it. There's the rundown of a lot of ColourPop products, what I think about them. I will leave links to ColourPop's website down below so you guys can go and check them out. Super affordable, great online brand. I think they're coming to either Sephora or Ulta. I heard that somewhere. But I'm in Canada, so they won't come to Canada, Sephora, and we don't have Ulta. So yeah, I probably won't see one in store, but I know that there is some talk about ColourPop coming to stores. I feel like a lot of brands are moving into that format and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I know even MAC is now being sold at Ulta and it bugs me a bit as a pro because my discount isn't valid there. So even though I'm a MAC pro, I can't get MAC products at Ulta for a discount and that really frustrates me. And that's always been a frustration of mine. I've talked about it before. Um, I have an issue with any company that gives us a pro not allowing us to use that pro in any store that carries their product. And I feel like that's wrong. And I know why they do it, and I know why it's built out that way, but I don't like it. And those are just my thoughts on it. Um, I do have a couple really awesome new videos coming out, so I hope you guys are enjoying the fact that I'm back and filming regularly. And I do have one kind of rant video coming out that um, has been a long time coming, and I've kind of held off on wanting to talk about it and now I kind of feel like I need to talk about it because it's starting to affect the industry as a whole and I feel like no one's calling it out and, or very few people are calling it out and it's bugging me. So I'm gonna do a chat about it. Not today though. I hope you guys enjoyed the ColourPop video. If you're new here, please subscribe and welcome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. You can also share this video with your friends by hitting share and sharing it on your Facebook page or Twitter getting it out there. If you're interested in signing up for any of my classes, links will be down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.